Hello, ID. We're going to be talking about constructing, testing, and evaluating the solution uh, in project 2.2.8, design an integrated assembly. We are making an accessory for the carabiner pin. And uh, to actually construct this, you're going to have to 3D print your model. So what you're going to need to do is, uh, and you're going to have to listen to, you know, every teacher is different. So uh, on how the their their uh, workflow actually works going from the 3D printer or from the CAD software to the 3D printer. So I'm going to talk about how I do it, and then we're going to go on from there. So ultimately, this is going to be a Canvas assignment, and you're going to turn in uh, your file to me as an STL file. And when you turn it into me as an STL file, uh, I'm going to show you guys the process of how to take that STL file and to get it on the 3D printer. Oh, I already have videos on it from my class on how to do that, so I'm just going to link that video. Uh, if you're if you're not from my class, if you're from a, if you have a different teacher, you're going to have to ask them uh, what they want. So for me, here's what I want. So I'm going to sign into Onshape, and we'll just kind of show you what I want. I'm going to log in here. I'm just going to grab any shape that I possibly can right now because it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to look at it and be like, eh, that looks good. So um, let's talk about this, you know, hex wrench right here. I'm going to take a little short hex wrench for the vex parts and say, hey, I want to 3D print this, which is exactly what I have done with this hex wrench. Um, so you load up the part, and whenever you have it down here in the bottom, you just right-click on it and then click Export. And when it shows up, you want it to be an STL format. Uh, you want the uh, format to be binary. You want the units to be millimeter. 3D printers use millimeters. They do not use inches. So just do yourself a favor and just go ahead and switch this over to millimeters, and it makes your life a whole lot easier, uh, especially if you're using 3D software that doesn't automatically convert it, or at least used to not automatically convert it like Cura. Uh, and change the resolution to as high as you as you can. So I'm just going to go ahead and just change it to fine. Make sure that option is download and then click OK. Whenever you do that, it'll uh, wait for a couple of seconds and then it will actually download it. If you're doing this on a Chromebook, it'll probably save to your uh, Google Drive. That's my hope anyway, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm not doing this on a Chromebook. So um, we'll have to get a little bit more information on that. Once you have that as an STL, that's what I need you guys to turn in and I'll show you guys how to actually take that STL and get it over to the 3D printer. Okay, and then one last thing is you're going to need at least one peer review uh, of at least one other accessory design. So you're going to give a review of somebody else's work, and you're going to uh, turn that in. You're going to turn in your review of somebody else's work to me, okay? You are not turning in the other person's review. You're turning in your review of one other accessory design. So you're going to look at the people around you, and you're going to say, hey... Um, you know, how, how, how does this look? Could I do better? Uh, what, what needs to be done? Uh, how does this look? And there is a link for providing positive, effective feedback. So obviously you don't want to just give me a review and be like, this is terrible, because that doesn't really help. That doesn't really give anything. It has to be constructive criticism uh, or feedback in order to be able to uh, work towards a goal, some kind of common goal. So that's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need the STL file uh, so that we can actually get it 3D printed. And um, I really want to get all of the projects 3D printed as long as you uh, work on an effective timeline. So if it takes you guys way too long to be able to make it, we might lose our window, our, our printing window, because 3D printers take time to be able to create their objects. Um, and, uh, you know, if there's 55 people in the class, that's 55 times 2 hours, that's over 100 hours of printing, which is a lot. So we're going to try to streamline that as best we possibly can. Okay, and, and I'll also want that one piece of feedback from you guys. So the STL file for the construct and the feedback. And that's going to be it for construct, test, and evaluate solution. I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.